Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and Angel, obviously. Um, this is like my fourth time trying to um, record this introduction because for some reason it just wasn't working. So sorry for the lighting. Um, but anyway, I got a five pound box of jewelry. Actually, it ended up weighing a little bit over five pounds, about six pounds with the um, stuffing and everything like that. And um, I'm going to be unboxing it here for you. Actually, I already did, but I have to re-record this intro. And um, it's amazing. <laughs> I can't even believe the stuff that I got in it. And I will um, be showing it all to you. And I actually decided, um, this is actually kind of a good thing that I have to re-record this because I actually decided, don't mind her and her toy here. Um, I actually decided that I'm going to do some sales out of this video with some of the pieces that are a lot like um, other things that I've sold or that um, just don't need to go into like any of the other lives or the clearance lives or anything like that. So, so for some of the pieces, they will be for sale. Other pieces, I'll say that's going into the vintage live or it's going to go into the $10 and under live or something like that. So, um, if you are interested in any of the pieces that are for sale in this video, go ahead and um, just message me with the, um, the price of the item, the description of the item, and the timestamp. It's very important to let me know those, those things. And then I will put up a sold comment that I'll pin with those items that have sold from the video. So definitely check that as well before you send me a message just in case that item did sell. Really? 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 She's, she's a little much tonight. So, um, uh, so anyway, so enjoy the video. This is amazing. Uh, I'm super surprised at what I got. So I hope you all enjoy it. And don't forget, if you like my content, if you like um, this crazy dog, if you like the things that I bring to you, please think about subscribing to my channel. I would love for you to subscribe and um, I hope you enjoy what I bring to you today because I think you will, especially if you like really cool vintage jewelry because <laughs> this is a surprise. It's a surprise to me. So, all right, enjoy. Okay, so this is, um, I just pulled out a, well, I just pulled out a few things so far and this is how they wrapped it. Um, and I mean, you don't get this with like a Goodwill blue box. So that's kind of nice. Um, and one time I had a whole big jewelry lot that they had given me and it was not wrapped correctly. And I did call and complain about it. So I'm sure they wrap my stuff with a little bit more care now. Um, but, uh, oh, you can probably hear Angel. Uh, she's playing with a toy off to the side here, so she might be a little loud. Um, okay, let's see. We've got a necklace here that doesn't look incredibly vintage, but this is pretty. Um, let's see here. I am going to kind of bring this out a little bit. And this one's nice. Looks like it's about 16 inches. And it's an Avon. That's nice. It's got a little tiger's eye pendant at the bottom, a little faceted tiger's eye pendant at the bottom. Real pretty, that's a pretty little necklace. It's newer, it's got the lobster claw clasp, a newer lobster claw clasp, but nice little glass beads. That's a cute little piece, All right? That I'm not mad at. This one looks like it's maybe a little bit less um, quality. Oh, it's a Charming Charlie, which, you know, uh, their pieces are hit or miss in terms of quality. This one isn't as um, high quality. Um, if anybody is interested in this one, I mean, I this is not going to go to a live sale. Maybe it might go to a clearance live, but if anybody likes this, just let me know. I mean, and anybody. Um, it's a pretty rose gold chain. Um, 
long necklace. That's kind of, that part's kind of cool. Looks like it's uh, like a faux druzy, rose gold and silver. Um, but pretty. Three strands, three different levels, all long. I like these types of necklaces that make it look like you're, you know, layering necklaces. But it's kind of a cool piece. And then this is the bottom one. So nice and long. Um, you know, I would do something like that for like, you know, five, five dollars. And then, you know, something like this, you know, I would do for maybe like eight if anybody was interested. Um, this is the two pieces here. I think so. Oh, this is kind of nice. This is, oh, this is a Tahari necklace. Tahari is always a nice brand. It is a designer brand. This is a pretty necklace. And Tahari, just a long, long necklace. Let's get a measurement on this one. It's got a nice extender on it. Let's see. Wasn't really planning on this being kind of like a sale video, but it definitely, like some of these pieces, you know, I could take it right to the clearance live, but why wait, right? Why wait? Um, 18 inches. And then it does have an extender that does go another three. So it's a nice, nice length. And uh, that's the pendant with the little rhinestones at the top. Um, you know, $8 on that. This is a nice little necklace. We've got some glass beads on here and kind of a, um, almost like a black metallic, chain like a gunmetal I guess it would be considered a gunmetal and uh oh those are kind of a cool bead that's kind of cool nice and long great piece to layer or double and um this one is 54 inches there is no um there's no clasp on this one that I can see. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's got some silver beads on there, the different blues, and then that's a cool bead. That's a really cool bead. So $10 on that one. That's really, really pretty. And if anything doesn't sell by Wednesday, I might put them in the live. We'll see. Let's see. Another nicely packaged piece. Got a couple stretchy rhinestone bracelets here. Say $2 a piece on those. Here's another rhinestone or another bracelet here. Little memory wire. This has some stone chips and a black faceted bead. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll say $3 on that. Same with this one. Some stone beads. I wonder, I wonder what that is. Let's just hit it with the presidium over here. If it's anything. No, just goes to glass. And that's just quartz. So we've got some Glass and quartz here. We'll just say two dollars on that one too. And then this is an interesting bracelet. It's like a Bible. It says Bible. Interesting. I might have to look this one up. It says Bible, and it says. 
Thou shall not. Oh, it's your um, Ten Commandments. That's kind of cool. I'm going to do some research on this one. So this one's going to be set off to the side. But that's cool. Isn't that cool? Ten Commandments charm bracelet. Interesting. I don't know if that's something that people are collecting. You know, it's kind of like with the rosaries and stuff, you know. I wouldn't have really thought about that being such a collectible thing. But that is that people really collect them and I've been selling a ton of rosaries. Now I actually go out and look for rosaries and um, I sell a lot of them. Um, I don't really sell them on my YouTube channel. I mean, I can always start selling them on YouTube, but um, I sell a ton of them on, U on um, eBay. I might start selling more of them on my website. Um, so yeah, um, is this marked? It's kind of an interesting little necklace i don't see any marks on it but it's got the little spirals kind of interesting little spiral design for a necklace this looks like it's probably about um 16. it's about 18 inches actually and uh kind of a cool little necklace very simple i'm gonna say five dollars on that one just five and then what do we have here? Looks like we got a couple of brooches in this one. Oh. So, mother of pearl earrings and a brooch. That's really pretty. That I'm going to save for a live. So we're going to set that aside. And then that's a pretty brooch. That'll probably get saved as well, maybe for a clearance live or something, but that's going to get saved. <clears throat> We've got a nice big package here. Well, we got probably necklaces in here. Now, those of you who are channel members, of course, if I'm saving something for a live, you do have the opportunity to you know, um, purchase the stuff for the lives. Just let me know. Countess of Chiramoni. Um, is that like a cheerleading thing? I'm wondering. This seems very specific. <laughs> very specific. Countess of Chiramoni. Um, I'm going to say uh, $5 to somebody. And if you can tell me what this actually means um, and let me know, maybe you'll get a discount. I don't know. It's very specific. Um, oh, this is kind of a cool bracelet. Um, I might actually save this for a live. I like this. Very summery. I like the whole seed bead, woven seed bead look. That's really cool. I like that one. all out here. All right. So we have a, this is a plastic bracelet or um, necklace, plastic bead necklace. This is a Napier. Um, this is pretty, very pretty. Um, an 80s Napier. Um, they're not as coveted as most Napiers are. It is 16 inches long, ivory beads, really pretty. They actually even have like the little striations in there um, to make it look like a bone or something. Super pretty. Um, and I'm going to say $10 on that. Um, here we have a coral puka shell style necklace. That's super pretty. Um, nice length on this one too. And 16 inches. Um, we're going to say $8 on that one. This is lovely. I think I might wait on a live for this one. These are, uh, porcelain beads, hand painted. These are gorgeous. 
Yeah, that's a, this is a necklace, hand-painted porcelain beads. They are tied individually, um, hand-tied on a cord, uh, 18 inch long necklace. And those are really, really quite nice. They all look like they're hand formed too. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, here we have a multi-strand necklace in white seed beads. And it, oh, it's long too, in gold seed beads. Look at that, nice long length. It's very delicate, it's not super thick. This would be really pretty with like, uh, on like denim or linen or something. Um, that kind of gold natural colored linen would be really pretty. Um, 22 inches long, very pretty necklace. Very pretty necklace. Um, I'm gonna say $12 on that one. Um, oh, here we have a, this is a faux pearl a necklace, kind of like a choker, choker length. Um, it has the shepherd's hook clasp. Um, pretty little pearl centerpiece, three strands. <clears throat> it can be a couple of, any length between um, 12 and a half to 16. And um, I'm gonna say ten dollars on this one. It's these are a plastic pearl. They're not a glass pearl, but very pretty, very, very pretty. Let's see. Here we have one of these bracelets. I'm gonna say $3 on that. A little wreath, we'll say two on that one. Oh, this looks like a good little package. Oh yeah, very good little package. All right, so these are definitely gonna be going to auction. Look at that, oh, that is gorgeous. Needs a little cleaning. Um, no marks on this, but that is, I'll have to look this one up. This is really nice. See if I can find anything about it. Um, really nice, nicely done. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So gorgeous, um, hanging brooch. I like that. Um, here's a really nice pair of earrings, citrine earrings that is the oh these are marked too what does it say weiss weiss co boy i have to rack my brain on when they used weiss co i think that's pretty early those are gorgeous so those are going to be hold held off and then look at these AB cluster earrings. Love the color, this like olive green AB, absolutely gorgeous. So those are gonna be held too for auction. Those will be on Thursday's auction, all of those. Those will be on Thursday's auction, not Wednesday's. They are not going into clearance. Those are gonna be definitely going into the Vintage Live. Let's see what we got here. Got something that says Ronte of Beverly Hills Genuine Sapphire Pendant, but I do not see a Genuine Sapphire Pendant in here, so I'm not sure. This is pretty. A little glass disc and seed bead bracelet. Um, really pretty, uh, very pretty little uh, clasp on this almost looks like it's sterling. Kind of wonder. Well, I we might have to test that. Here we have a wood and bone. Is this what is this? Is this a necklace? This is definitely all 
Now to get the rubber band off of this. Well, it's like a tie. Oh no, it's a slide. So this slides. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little grease almost, but it slides. It's a little necklace pendant thing. Hmm, wood and bone. It looks like it's signed Hoyt. This needs a little bit of research, so I'm gonna set that off to the side. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is a hand carved flower. Look at how delicate those little uh, pistules, I wanna say those are called on the inside of that flower. And then it's got an old C clasp. Wow, that's quite nice. And that's gonna get set off to the side. But this is really nice. And I'm going, let's test this really quick. Um, let's get my solution. Just to see. No, no, it's not. I just thought maybe the way that color was and all of that, whether or not that could be, but it is not sterling at all. So never hurts to check at all. All right, let's grab the next group of pieces. Strawberry, Sarah Coventry, and that's going to be a set. So that's going to go in here. It looks like we've got another set. Oh, that's pretty. Is this marked at all? No. Looks a little bit newer. Very cool design. That's gonna go over here too. So that's gonna be done in one of the lives coming up. So move into the next one. Oh, interesting. This is adorable. Now this is definitely a vintage Santa brooch. And this has like a little thing and I think his nose might light up and I'm not sure if there's a way to change his battery. Hmm. I have to look at this. Um, I am going to, this regardless, I'm going to wait. I'm going to do a Christmas sale. Might be doing a Christmas in July sale, but regardless, he's going to go in that. So he's going to get set further off to the side. These are super cute. These old Pepsi Cola earrings. Those are super cute. We'll sell those tonight. Um, let's see. For these, we're going to say uh, $8 for those. Those are super cute. Super fun. We were just having a conversation in my last live about pe Pepsi and Coke and the things, like how you say different, like in here in, the, in Michigan, you say pop. And in other areas, you say soda. And other areas, you say Coke. And so, and then like what what types of pop you like better. And we're just having that conversation. So that's kind of fitting. We'll sell, we'll sell the Pepsi one. And uh, this one is a very pretty little flower brooch. That's going to go in one of the lives coming up. 
This is a little tapestry one. Most of the brooches I think will go in the lives coming up. This looks like it could be a JJ. Oh my goodness, that little poor pig has got his head stuck. Oh, it's an AJC. Oh, also a very highly collectible brand. Oh, that poor little baby pig. Darn it. This is pretty. That's a gorgeous piece. That is mother of pearl, carved mother of pearl. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna save that one. This almost looks like a Monet. What is it? Oh, Sarah Coventry. Sarah Coventry, the master of disguise. This is quite lovely with some marcasite. And looks like it's signed. What is it? Anybody knows what that is please let me know it's interesting huh I don't know I don't know what that is it's cool though Ooh, I like this a lot I love this so that's a great enamel flower we're gonna save that one This is an interesting one, unmarked. It's got a C-clasp, bizarre. Very modern, kind of interesting. We'll save that one. And these darn roses, they always pop up. I'm gonna put this one in for sale. We're gonna save $5 on the rose. Oh, this one is a pretty one though, very detailed. Very, very detailed. That's a gorgeous one. So we're going to save that one. Ooh, that's pretty. Very 80s. Very 80s. I think everybody had this on their denim jacket back in the 80s. How cool is that? That's a fun one. So that'll go. That'll go in the sale. Looks like we got some pearls. These are real pearls. Oh, this is these real. This looks like real pearl. These are real pearls. Beautiful Baroque pearls. I believe these are real. They look real. Check this with the loop really quick. Just looking. Gotta turn the light on. Read it. It's like, hmm. Let me see. I'm gonna put it under here. Maybe we can all read it together. P A that's supposed to be read under from under Oh patent pending. Duh. Patent pending. Okay. Hmm. 
These do look like real Baroque pearls. Oh, maybe not. I can see some. scratches on there where it's drilled yeah not real these are real glass baroque pearls yeah you can see the coating from when they drilled it kind of pushing up so real glass broke pearls, very pretty. Um, I think I'll still do these in a live though, um, one of them. They're really very pretty, very pretty broke pearls. Let's check these, a little bit of verdigris. Need to work on that. Hmm, these? Oh, got Angel here. Hello, Angel. So I am not somebody who really likes to put pearls in my mouth. So I tend to check around the holes to see if I see the um the coating push off where the holes are. And I see a little bit of it pushing off here. You can see it there. These are very well, good quality though. Um, and in here, you can sort of see a little bit of scratching right there and there. So these are nice glass pearls. So we're going to go ahead and put, use those in a live as well. Um, here we have a box. Oh, here's that Ronte, Ronte of Beverly Hills, genuine sapphire pendant. Hmm. And then there's a cool little cabochon stick pin. This looks pretty old. It's a little glass cabochon stick pin. All right, this Ronte of Beverly Hills. Interesting. Oh, and there's there's more underneath. Wow, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. All right, so Ronte of Beverly Hills. What are you? Are you gold? Wouldn't that be nice? You don't look gold. You do not look gold. I do not see any marks. So probably gold fill, something along those lines. No marks on there. Is it genuine sapphire? Yep, sure is. So I test, I just put my presidium right on there. Went right up. Oop. Right up to sapphire. So very beautiful. Very, very beautiful little pendant do that one might go into clearance though because it's you know it's it's probably gold fill but it is a sapphire very pretty piece okay what do we have in here all kinds of little goodies we have a mother of pearl cross um, I'm actually putting a lot of crosses together, so I'm going to actually keep these separate. If anybody is interested in a lot, like an actual like lot of several crosses, let me know because I am putting that together right now. I've probably got about 20 right now that I've got, and uh, if you're interested, let me know. So I'm putting those off to the side. I have a little sailboat pendant. That's super cute. Two dollars on that. Um, oh, a little articulated fish pendant. That's really cute. We'll say $2 on that. Um, a little tack pin. 
probably a tie tack pin. We'll say a dollar. Uh, a little red, white, and blue Mickey. Um, 2001. I'm going to go ahead and do a little research on that one. Here we have a little pen. Um, looks like a little locket. Um, I'm just going to say uh, $2 on that. And a little lamp work fish. This is not a really expensive one. I'm just going to say $2 on that. Very cute. Very, very, very cute. What do we have in this in this bag? Anything good? Oh, looks like fun stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. That's super pretty. Look at that. Oh, I like that. What size is it? Ooh, size eight, about just about an eight. And what does it say? It says something on the inside, I think. Oh, it's an Avon, beautiful Avon ring. We'll let that one go in a lot in a live. Here we have looks like a pocket watch, and I don't normally do pocket watches, I can never even open them. I don't even know how these open. Do they twist? What do these do? Do you pull on them? I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't, I can't open these. How do you open this? Oh, there it goes. Maybe. I got my nail in there. There we go. A Suprini pocket watch. I do not know anything about it. I need to do research. Here we have a mic and it's a Spidel. So if anybody knows a mic um, and would like a bracelet for mic, um, $3 for a mic bracelet and the mic bracelet is uh, Mike's gotta have small hands. It's six and a half inches. And we have a little heart ring. This one here is a size seven and a half. We're just gonna do this one for $3. And then here we have a very long snake chain necklace with a extender. This is great for if you have a cool pendant or something, which we've had a lot of lately. Um, this one is uh, 35 inches long before the extender. Um, so great versatility on this one. Wow. And we're going to say $10 on that. That's a, that's a great one. I mean, that's, that's just great. Okay, on to the next group. Whoops, because I dropped a package. There we go. Grab the one I dropped. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we forgot this one back here. Okay. Oh, we got some brooches. And it looks like a buckle. It's kind of an old, like, celluloid buckle. That's kind of cool, although I think we might be missing a piece. Not sure. Oh no, this is a newer plastic. That's cool though. I love the elephant. I have to look into how this one works. So I'm gonna do research on that one. Um, this is, looks, <laughs> looks like we're missing a pin back or missing something on this one. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side. Here is a brooch. Ooh. Ooh. That is cool. Wow. This is neat. So we've got a matte gold. I love the boats. Wow. That is really cool. 
That is really neat. I'm gonna, this one is another one I wanna kinda look into. That's just so unique and like that whole, that whole concept of like the boat dock is really interesting. I might have to actually save this for my friend. One of my best friends from when I lived up in Northern Michigan, her husband and her own a company and they install, um, they install docks. And she might like this. I might have to save that one for her. We'll see. Um, that's cool. It needs a little cleaning. But this is really an interesting piece as well. Looks like it's got a remnant of a price tag. But this is really cool. Very artistic. Um, very reminiscent of like the 80s kind of artistic style. That's really unique. I'm going to look into that one as well. Here we got another Christmas piece. Um, this is unsigned. We'll set this one off to the side. And then that's really pretty with that matte gold. And this is unsigned. This is like that kind of very like um, texturized matte gold that was really big in like the um, 70s and 80s. That's super pretty. I like that. I'm going to save that one too. I like it when I use the little baggies you can easily open. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, that's a pretty angel. All right, so that's probably gonna get saved for Christmas, I think. Is that marked? Might be a signature on that. Let me see. No, I think that's just the inside of her arm. But wow, that's pretty. Very, very pretty, very pretty piece. And then here we have a beautiful like pinwheel pinwheel style, really pretty with the pearl. And this one is, oh, it's a Western Germany piece. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Oh, I like that one. And that's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And then this is a locket. And this is also signed Cora. Mm, very pretty. That's a nice, that's an older coral piece. And then here we have, oh, this one looks like it is a 1928, quite possibly with that back. Possibly. I could be wrong on this one because I almost think that the 1928 would have the back on the, on this tube. So I might be wrong but it's cool it's a little porcelain rose on there too very pretty let's see what we got in here pearls pearls more pearls we have oh some pearl earrings a lot of pearl earrings oh these are pearl earrings Okay, so pearl like waterfall earrings and these are marked Marvellas. Very nice. Here is, oh, this has some verdigris on it. Let's see if I can clean that up. But very pretty bracelet, glass pearls, beautiful glass pearls on this one. Um, but in a really pretty, very pretty um, clasp on that if I can get that cleaned up. So we're gonna set that aside to see if I can get that cleaned up. Ooh, I am loving these earrings here. Look at those. Gosh, those are gorgeous. And are these marked? Oh, I think so. What does it say? Hmm, I might have to get the loop out. No, that's a patent. Dang. 
That's a patent. I hate that. I hate when they fool us and it's a patent. Dang it. Gosh, those are absolutely stunning earrings. Are they not stunning? And do we have all the rhinestones in there? Yeah, it looks like we have all those rhinestones. Ooh, those are pretty. All right, those are pretty. Those are gonna definitely go into the um, the live. So far, all those are going in the live. I think these, I think most of these are gonna go in the live. Those are pretty. Ooh, those are pretty. Got some pearls here. These, um, if anybody's interested in these for three dollars, what are these? And these are odd. Those are odd little earrings. If anybody's interested in these, oops, I got these upside down. In these for five, and they got some rhinestones coming down. Those are kind of fun. Five dollars on those. Those are pretty. Five on those. Those are very elegant. Um, I might save those. Those are a really nice um, pearl. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna save those. These have a little bit of stuff that needs to be cleaned up, so we're gonna put those in the cleanup pile. Um, and then these here are pretty. We're gonna say, um, we're gonna say five on those. And then we have some very pretty pearl studs. And these pearl studs are really quite nice. Those hmm. do appear like they're glass though. I might save those actually. They're just really, really nice. Yeah, you know what? No, I think we're going to do $8 on those. $8 on those. Because those, those are really, really nice pearl studs. But, um, you know, we'll just do $8 on those. If anybody's interested. I mean, we could always run them at a later time on a clearance live or something. Because the clearance lives are really just like a $10 and under start live. Not even really a clearance anymore. But... It's just, uh, oh, this is pretty interesting. Looks like that's going to split at any time. Interesting little bead. It's a pearl bead. These are actually a glass pearl. Um, just a very interesting kind of clasp, or not even a clasp, the way that's tied off. Hmm. Um, the length on this one. dropped my measuring tape. Uh, the length on this is um, 38 inches. Um, if anybody likes this for 12, it's really pretty. I mean, I tugged on that spot here. It's pretty solid. So, yeah, if anybody's interested, I'm gonna put this in the for sale side. Ooh, we got some crystals. So we have a crystal memory wire bracelet. So if anybody likes this for um, $10, it's all yours. And then these, oh, these are beautiful. So the earrings I think we're gonna do in the lives, but look at those, gosh, those are pretty. Very pretty. Those are gorgeous little earrings. Um, not marked, but wow, those are pretty. Okay, so we're doing those in the in a live. And then we've got, two, oh, those are pretty too. Look at those little crystal drops. Wow, those are gorgeous. So those will be done 
in Alive as well. And then another, another one with just a different bead hanging down. Those are pretty, so we'll do those on Alive. Okay, next package. Oh, this is a pretty watch. This just says court. Japan movement, stainless steel back. I know nothing about watches. This is on a stretchy cord. So I'm gonna set this aside because I don't know about watches. Ooh, this is, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Purples, peacock colors really are my favorite. So this is probably why I'm drawn to this. Love this. Absolutely love this bracelet. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's so pretty. So pretty. Huh. No marks on this. This is going to go into a live because, honestly, probably because I like it so much. Um... Wow. Beautiful panel bracelet. That is just absolutely stunning. So we're moving that forward. Ooh, I see rhinestones. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay. So earrings first. We have some bone, carved bone flower earrings. Super cute. We're gonna run, or we're gonna just sell these outright, and we're gonna say five dollars on those. These are quite beautiful. Little glass cabochons, unmarked, and uh, I'm gonna sell these outright as well. I'm gonna say eight dollars on those. But look at this. This is just absolutely absolutely gorgeous look at that oh my gosh is it signed no it is not it is not signed wow so now we'll have to do some research. So this is this is almost, I mean, this is kind of an Aurora Borealis. It's almost more like an oil slick type of coating. Um, peacock colors, I don't know. This is so stunning. And I'm sort of obsessed with it. And this is, wow. Wow. So far, that's my favorite. I love it, love it, love it. This is a good mystery box. I mean, you really couldn't see any of the pictures. It just was like a big, huge lot of vintage jewelry. And I buy from this auction place all the time and it has on occasion been very hit or miss. Um, but uh, today I'm pretty happy, I will say. This is kind of an interesting little necklace, little uh, beads, the little long beads, and then, no, it's, good. it's kind of pretty. Um, let's get a length on it. 18 inches, and then it has an extender that will go another four. Um, and I'm going to say $10 on that. That's, that's pretty. This is gorgeous. So these are, those are all glass beads. And wow, just wow. The coral and then the white with the AB finish. And that's a really cool coral bead that is, it's got like a really cool pressed glass, um, kind of like a, triad shape and then that's a really cool texturized glass very pretty is it it's signed oh 
Oh my gosh, it's a hobe. Oh, this is a hobe. Oh my gosh. This is, no wonder it's so gorgeous. It's a hobe. See, you just never know what you might get sometimes. Wow, okay, that's a hobe. Super excited. That's definitely going in the for sale lot. Oh, 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 okay. Here we go. We got another good one, guys. Oh, I'm like getting so excited. Okay, we had another one of these. What did I say? Five dollars. Another one, five dollars. Okay. Look at this. This is a park lane. That is stunning. Look at the colors in this. The enameling is gorgeous. I love Park Lane jewelry. Vintage Park Lane is beautiful. That is gorgeous. And the different colors and the stones there. Look at the size of this flower. This is absolutely perfect and it's in beautiful condition. Oh, gorgeous. That's going in this for sale in the vintage jewelry live at a later time. And what do we have in this one? Ooh, we have a beautiful enamel butterfly. That is gorgeous. Made in, is this Western Germany? Probably West Germany. Yeah. It's got some beautiful enameling. That's gonna get saved. That's a pretty little brooch. We'll save that one as well. Beautiful. Here we have a poinsettia. I'm gonna save that for Christmas. That's super pretty. Beautiful piece. Save that one for Christmas. Oh, we got another package hiding in the back here. Ooh, we got another enamel flower. I know I got a couple of you guys that watch that love your enamel flowers. And look at this one. Look at how pristine it is in the cream and the gold. Oh, and it's signed Sarah Coventry. Mmm, that's beautiful. And there's no enameling issues. Wow, oh, there's like a little tag or something right there. I'm trying to pull that out with the scissors. Oh, it says $10 for the set. I wonder if there's earrings somewhere. <coughs> wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, there's more. There's more, you guys. We're gonna do it all. This might be a long video, but we're gonna do it all. This is pretty, beautiful little piece. This is not signed. It does have a little spot. I think you could, well, no, I don't think that was one. I was thinking that could be like a, a spot you could um, use as a pendant. I guess you could, but that's a beautiful older brooch. Here we have, oh, look at these ear. Oh, matching matching wow that's nice very fancy and then look at these <gasps> wow <clears throat> these are gorgeous wow those are like literally stunning stunning <gasps> oh my gosh like, kill me now. Those are beautiful. Unreal. Absolutely just fantabulous. In purple. My favorite color. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm dying. I'm dying. Look at this. Okay, look at that. <gasps> okay, I can't believe I got this lot for what I did. Look at that. It's a Lisner. <gasps> oh my gosh. And all those stones are there? All those stones are there. Oh my gosh. Beautiful listener piece. Listener before listener sold out. I'm sorry, I do think listener sold out. And look at this one. Oh, 
That's a Weiss. That's an old Weiss. Oh my God, look at the pinks. That is a special one. And the look at the dimension. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I just like want to just, I just want to like fly to the moon right now. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm literally dying over this one. Like, is anybody else dying over this? Because I literally am dying. I seriously, I'm dying. Like some of these brooches are just like, like, look, I'm going to have to set like some of these aside. Like these are so special. So, 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 there's more brooches in here than I thought. I swear, I don't think they showed all the jewelry in this lot. I don't know. Look at this. This is a beautiful necklace. So these are glass pearls and some of these little, um, little rondelles have rhinestones and then the other ones are a filigree bead. This is quite pretty. Wow. Lovely, lovely little glass pearl necklace, graduated beads. That's beautiful. Okay, what do we got next? What do we have next, people? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. It's a pig with little piglets. Stop. Just stop. I can't even. This is way too cute. I can't even, I don't even want to sell this because this is way too adorable. That's way too adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I almost like this as much as that Weiss brooch because this is so darn cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I might have to keep that for a little bit. Oh, look at that for 4th of July. That is way too cute. Oh my gosh, if anybody likes that for $8. Ooh, look at these fancy earrings. Oh my gosh, look at those. Those are Monet. Oh, those are absolutely stunning Monet earrings. These are definitely going in the vintage life. Those are classy. Now, Monet did earrings at one point for... One of the big luxury houses, I want to say it was Yves Saint Laurent, but I, I need to look that up. Uh, I really need to get the Monet book. I really, really, really need to get the Monet book. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool. I might have to save that for my husband. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, a little scrimshaw bone with a boat. <gasps> no way, that's really cool. All right, we're saving that one too. That's really cool. I know not a ton is going in the for sale now area, but I, and I apologize, but it's, it is what it is. I'm sorry. Okay. We have a Cremence Contempo. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. Cremence is a cool company because Cremence was around, well, obviously around for over 125 years. Very true. Um, and Cremence did a lot in fine jewelry as well as gold fill, sterling, um, and boy, I can't take this off. Um, there we go. And this is not, and it's a pig. Oh my gosh, it's a pig, a Cremence pig. If anybody likes the Cremence pig for $10, let me know. It is all you. And I can't get them. There we go. So Kremen's Pig, $10. All you. It's so darn cute. Hold on. Let me get you a good picture of it. I guess I got to take it out of the box again. Kremen's Pig, $10. He does have a little red eye, though. But he's so adorable. Little piglet. So, you know, some people collect pigs. So... You know, I collect dog stuff, peacock stuff. Oh, we got another one of these. So another crystal memory wire bracelet, $10. Oh, 
and another pair of earrings. This one I will be saving for a live. Those are pretty. It's got a little silver on top. What do we have in here? Ooh, what is, oh, what is this? This is gorgeous. Those are all enamel. Wow. What is this? This has some kind of mark on it, and I need to read it. It says something 800, I think. I can't tell what it says on top. I have to... I have to work on that a little bit, but I think it's 800. That's beautiful. Very old, very antique. Oh, look at these. Uh, looks like uh, we're missing a stone there. I think I might have the brooch that goes with this. And if it's missing a stone, I might just harvest a stone from here because I think my brooch is missing a stone. So we might be all good. So I'm setting those aside. Oh, we got another pig. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna put this in the first sale. We're gonna say um we're gonna save four dollars on the, this little pig. Oh, look how pretty this is. We'll set this one aside over here. Oh, these are interesting little earrings, unmarked. We're gonna say three dollars on those. Okay, and I still have a little bit more. I'm getting to the end though. You guys have been extremely patient. I know it's probably a very long video at this point. I did have to stop at one point because I had a delivery. My groceries got delivered because, you know, I'm lazy like that. I don't like grocery shopping. And um, I ordered groceries. So I did. Um, let's see. Okay. Put some of this stuff back here. Is anybody else lazy like me? Like, I just don't, I don't like, I like being productive and like grocery shopping is not productive to me. <clears throat> Although I know we all need to eat, you know, but it's just like, I'd rather spend my time doing other things. Oh my goodness, here we go. What we got here? What do we have here? This is quite beautiful. That's a beautiful brooch. We have a stone, some kind of stone here, probably just a quartz. Yeah. I mean, it actually just goes up to, it actually just goes up to like an emerald, but I can't imagine that that's an emerald but probably it's just a quartz. It's at the very, very bottom of quartz, so maybe, I don't know. It's super pretty. Oh wait, is it marked? It's marked Lisner. It's probably just quartz. Very beautiful. Ooh, and here we go with another beautiful milk glass necklace. Oh my, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Is this ho oh, jack pot people? Oh my gosh, we have a milk glass Weiss necklace. I can't even believe it. I shut the front door. Oh my gosh. What are we what is going on? There is more jewelry here than they showed on the in the photos. I'm telling you that right now. There is way more jewelry here than they showed in the photos. 
I'm, I'm telling you. Here is another really pretty pair of earrings. This is smart. These are post earrings. These are not marked. These are kind of cool. They have like little moving little ball things. These are kind of cool. All right, I like those. And I've had so many of these lately, but super pretty. And they're like a bread and butter. These are bread and butter. Um, these are not necessarily easy to find, but when you do find them, I say if you're a reseller, always get these little um, brooches because they are, you know, they don't sell for like an extraordinary amount of money, but they sell and they sell fast. And um, especially if you can find them with these little pronged ends, those are really, it's a nice little brooch. And then the matching earrings, even better. do we have Ooh, look at this that's pretty with a little moon glow not signed it's a plastic moon glow but still it's very pretty i like that i have had this before it is a monet very pretty piece oh and this we have the matching the matching earrings very pretty Right, what do we got here? Ooh, okay. Well, first we got pearls, beautiful glass pearls. Uh, looks like I have more to clean up in my verdigree. It's like all these pearls. Really pretty though, very pretty, very pretty though. So more in the cleaning department and look at these. Any signature? Oh, yeah. What do we have here? Oh, Austria. Very, very pretty. And we have a little bit of enamel biting on here. So a little enamel chipping. Um, oh, it's an old set. Look at C clasp. Made in Austria. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. Gosh, with the matching earrings. Holy cow, that's a nice set. Nice set. Even though we've got some flea bite kind of stuff going on, it's a beautiful set. What do we got in here? I see some flags. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay, so we have a red, white, and blue American flag brooch. I say $8 on that. I have some cufflinks. Looks like some just some nice basic cufflinks. Very pretty. We're gonna say, oh, it's not a set. Oh, okay. Um, this is an older red, white, and blue flag brooch. I'm gonna say 10 on that one. Red Hatter, for those of you who are in the Red Hat Society, that's really pretty. We're gonna say, um, Five dollars on that. I've got some pretty gold hoop earrings. We'll say three on the gold hoops. Um, here we have a bracelet, or it could even be an anklet, I guess, that has the, um, it's got the, the pass through, the, um, oh, what do you call this? I'm blanking here, where you, um, you pull it to tighten it or you pull it out to loosen it. Really pretty little, um, little focal on there. It's really cute. Um, I'm going to say $5 on this and these don't match. So we're just going to set those off to the side and we are, oh, we've got a couple more. Get the last of these out. All right. So these are the last packages. And here we go. That's a pretty brooch. 
looks newer and repaired. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and resell this now. And we're going to save $5 on that. This is very pretty. Nice color combination. Needs a little cleaning, which I can do. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and sell this later. And pretty little Canadian maple leaf. And it is... Oh my goodness, it's a boucher. It's a boucher. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna set that one off to the side. Boucher, for those of you who are unfamiliar, boucher has been around for a long time and it is a very valuable, valuable um, brooch. Com you know, their pieces are highly collectible, very valuable and um, they are very, 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 they can be very, very expensive. I will have to do research on this particular one. I've not seen a maple leaf one, um, but you will usually see them with numbers, serial numbers. Um, that's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. So we're getting some like very high value pieces in this lot. Um, my winning bid on this lot was like $45. So my per piece is doing very well. Oh my gosh, look at this set. Holy cow, look at this. The enameling is perfect. This reminds me of a little mask. Look at this, is this Austria? Yeah, so this is an, another Austria. Oh wow, look at this, unreal. Oh my gosh, so loving that. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, those those earrings are gorgeous. These are just stunning earrings too. Beautiful, beautiful uh, crystals in that. Newer, but beautiful. Um, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just put a price on these now. I'm gonna say $10 on those earrings. Those are really pretty. I can't, I'm, I'm literally blown away. I'm blown away by this lot. Absolutely blown away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a Weiss. It's another Weiss. Although I kind of question this one. It's gorgeous. But I might have to look up this one a little bit. Look at this one a little bit closely. Some Weiss, if you will, if you look up Weiss, if you do research on Weiss, there are some Weiss pieces that are being knocked off in China. And um, you can tell the, the Weiss that are knocked off because sometimes they will have this like striated pattern in the back and um, they're super shiny. But the, usually the ones that I see that have that striated pattern that are knockoffs are gold. Um, this one's silver, and I will have to look this one up and do a little bit more research. This is absolutely fabulous, but I do wanna make sure that this is not a knockoff and this is true Weiss. Um, but this is absolutely stunning. Regardless, it's stunning. Regardless, um, as a brooch, it's still got some value, um, but it's it's beautiful. Hopefully it really is a Weiss. Um, if we look at this Weiss, uh, oh no, this one. This Weiss, now granted this is a little bit older, but still this Weiss compared to this you're looking at like how that striation is there. Um, so we'll see, we'll see about that one. Hopefully I'm wrong, but we'll see. I, sometimes I worry. Um, here we've got, oh, some really pretty listener earrings. Oh, this matches that brooch. Oh, yay. So that makes it a little set. Look at that. Oh, yay. We got a little set there. That makes me happy. I think we got a Monet brooch in here. Not like a fantastic one. I've had this one before. Oh my goodness. And we got a really pretty cross. 
Uh oh, we're stuck. We are stuck. Here we go. Okay, I have had this Monet before. It's so pretty. It's very large. It's a really pretty, it is a Monet right there. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I am going to save that one um, and we'll see. And then this is a beautiful cross. Look at that. Beautiful cross on a really nice heavy chain. Um, this is, it says patent on the clasp. Oh, it's a Sarah Coventry. Oh, wow, okay. That's cool. I've seen some really cool Sarah Coventry crosses. That's really gorgeous. Okay, so that's gonna be at a live. I'll have to do a little bit more research. The chain on this is really nice. It's like a box style, square kind of uh, chain. It's really thick and nice and long. Uh, the length on this one, and this is, oh, we got one more package after this. One more, and then, then I'll set you guys free. And thank you guys so much for watching this long. 22 inches. 22 on that. Look at that. That is just stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning Sarah Coventry. And then what do we have? Oh, it looks like a bracelet. Might just be a single bracelet. Oh my gosh. It's not. It's not. And those of you who were with me in the cloisonne phase a while ago we do have a single gold bracelet but look at this <gasps> these cloisonne these are beautiful cloisonne bracelet. look at the colors in this one. <gasps> oh my gosh look at these cloisonne we've got this teal blue that is just to die for then this darker like navy navy ish teal this dark teal and then this like burgundy with the teal flowers and teal and pink. This heavier like cobalt blue and this black. Oh my, these were not, I swear to God, you guys, these were not in, in that lot. I mean, I, there only looked like there was probably about like 30 pieces of jewelry when I, was looking at it and it didn't look all that great it only looked like there was maybe like four good brooches and this was one of them that i saw um and i didn't see like half of this stuff otherwise i probably would have even bid higher i mean i bid a good amount i still won but holy cow there's some good stuff in here wow i am literally oh there's one more package i missed um, this looks plastic, but we'll take a look. Um, but I am just literally blown away by what we have here. Oh, pretty color plastic. Um, wow, oh, I love this lime green. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Oh, look at those. These are plastic beads, but look at those beads. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. Is this a Hong Kong? It is. Oh, it's a West Germany love this look at that for summer is this not just like fabulous for the summer wow this is gorgeous um so yeah i was just i was like i'm blown away i mean is anybody else just blown away by this like this is just a random like i mean it came the weight on the box was like 6.8 pounds but i'm sure it's probably like at least five pounds of jewelry alone um, it says 20 inches and to the shortest and then a little bit longer for the longest. This is gorgeous. This is going to go in here too. Wow. I am, I am just so crazy thrilled. Most of this will be at the vintage live. Some of it will be at Wednesdays, $10 and under live for starting bids. And, um, I can't wait to bring this to you. This is, I'm thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled to be bringing this to you. Um, I can't wait. And I, 
Uh, I hope you, if you like my content, if you like the things that I'm bringing to you, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would make me so happy. It's free to subscribe. Um, if you like um, my stuff enough to uh, want discounts and want early access to purchasing, feel free to check out the memberships to my channel. Um, those are always fun. And you get to give um, Angel a treat in your name every single month, which, uh, you know, I do videos of that as well, <laughs> me giving Angel treats in your name. And uh, I will be doing uh, videos or lives on Wednesdays at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Those are my clearance lives. And Thursdays at 7 p.m. is my vintage jewelry sale. So I hope to see you on one of those. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you on the next video and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Love you all. Bye.